Let's take a fantastic voyage into the nucleus of one of your cells in search of your code for life. As we penetrate the outer cell wall, we find ourselves swimming in a viscous material called cytoplasm. And in addition to the nucleus floating in the cytoplasm, we encounter tiny parts of the cell. We pass ribosomes and lysosomes and Golgi and mitochondria on our travel. But our destination is still ahead, the very heart of the cell. This is the nucleus. Penetrating the nucleus wall, we encounter 23 pairs of DNA molecules. These are your chromosomes. You have 46 chromosomes and they come in pairs. One chromosome of each pair come from your mother and the other from your father. Other creatures have many different numbers of chromosomes, even though we share many of the same genes. For example, the field horsetail plant has 216. A crayfish has 200. A dog has 78. Humans have 46. Mice have 40. A house fly has 12, and a tiny ant has only two. As you can see, the number of chromosomes is not the indication of how complex the organism may be. And while we have different numbers of chromosomes, the total content of those chromosomes is often surprisingly identical. For example, this infant and this mouse have a mutation in the same gene, which results in a similar white patch on the stomach and forehead. Each of your chromosomes is a single continuous strand of DNA, one enormous molecule. And as the molecule winds or unwinds, each chromosome can vary in shape, from a stringy open formation, if it is performing a task, to a remarkably tight packed mass, if the cell is preparing to subdivide. This winding is so efficient that it packs three feet of DNA helix into a cell nucleus. This helix is 3.4 angstroms per step. This particular clump of DNA is chromosome 17, magnified some 50,000 times. And as we zoom in, you can begin to make out the rungs on the ladder. Each of these rungs is just one of the three billion letters that make up the book of our instruction manual. The U.S. government maintains a website with much of the current information about genes, chromosomes, and proteins. In the section labeled Chromosome Viewer, you can select a chromosome and see how many base pairs or letters are on the chromosome. When you get to the web page for each particular chromosome, you can see a list of traits and disorders associated with genes on that chromosome. Let's enlarge chromosome 7 and look at one gene thereon. As you can see, the gene that causes cystic fibrosis is here. On other pages, you can see genetic disease profiles. Here is the cystic fibrosis profile. You can even examine specifics about some genes. Many genes and their location on each chromosome are listed. 